Hey guys, Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons. Today we are here at the beginning of Pride Week making some rainbow arches. And I've been getting a lot of questions about how we transport the balloons and um, how, we, how we do it when we have like all these balloons that we've pre-inflated. So you see that what we've done here, um, normally I would do it in stacks of 10, but I've done them in six because that's the whole color combination. So that gives us all six colors rather than try to remember how to break it off and you know have 10 and then, oh wait, now which one was the next one that started on the right color? So we just did it in one full pattern set. And what you see, if you wanna swing around right there, just show the truck real quick. Yep, there's the truck. So we rented a truck and, uh, and we filled it with all the balloons. And then today we're using the Aeropole um, instead of building our own, uh, our own frame. But that's um, inconsequential, you, you know. It, it, this could be, it would be the same process if I had used a, a PVC frame as using the Aeropole. So basically what I'm gonna do, in this case I'm using the table, a lot of time I'm doing it on the ground or I'm doing it between the truck and the ground. <laughs> and we've got lots of wind. So this is one of the things about about living in Southern California and doing balloons is there's a, a lot of the outdoor events. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just taking this piece of garland and I'm going to basically just um, put it onto the uh, hole, just like this. Okay, and then I can either twist the balloons onto the pole or I've got some little pieces of 260s that I'm just gonna go in and make sure that I tie the line that the balloons are that the balloons are um, tethered to onto the pole. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking the 260 and I'm finding out, I'm looking at where is my where is the 260 that I built these on. And I've showed you guys that before, how to build the how to build the garland using 260s. And then we just tie it on. And that's it. Packing them on. One more for you, and then um, and then I need my assistant to go back to work. So then I'll take a picture and show you the finished product. <laughs> it's hard to wrestle this in the wind by myself here. All right, so and for this one, you see, I just put them in the big. Um, these are from Home Depot. These are the landscaping bags. Um, so sometimes we use mattress bags. That's the bags that you guys have seen me be used before. And sometimes we use the uh, landscaping bags. And I use my bags over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Alright, this time I'm going to twist it on. So I'm just going to twist it around the pole in, you know, three or four places. Making, making sure that where you twist it is actually where the pole is connecting. It's happened before that I've tried to twist it where the pole wasn't. That's just difficult. All right, we'll do one more, and then I'll see you when it's done. And these balloons are inflated to, what would you say, about eight inches? Yeah, I'd say about eight inches. See you guys in just a few. All right, so here we go. One of two arches. I still got another one to do, but uh, there you go. This is how we build it and transport it, and um, are very efficient on site. We try to be in and out in under an hour. So there you go. I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know what else you want to learn. This video is because you guys were asking me questions. Keep those questions coming. And until next time, go forth and. Bye.